Hey before souls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a pair card reading on what are the current thoughts, feelings and intentions towards you. Alright, so so much to other, I'm open for personal readings and chakra cleansings. If you wish to be creating or cleansing with me, message in my email which is written in the description box down below. Also, the timestamps of this reading are linked in the description box or in the comments section. So definitely check that out to get fast forward to your reading. Alright, so I picked out three piles for you today. For the first pile, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal. For the second pile, we have the Tiger's Eye. And for the third pile, we have the Amethyst Crystal. So to whichever pile or crystal you feel drawn to the most and I'll see in the readings, right? Hey guys, as of you who chose pile one, the rose quartz crystal, this is your reading, okay? So let's see. What are the current thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you? Let's find out. So we have the Empress card as your overall energy today. So this is like really positive energy that I'm getting. So your person is like thinking about a commitment with you. If you guys are not committed yet, this person is planning on a commitment like giving you a surprise okay maybe taking you out on a date asking you out or something okay they want to take a leap of faith in this is what i'm getting because they feel like you guys will create something really beautiful together like you already have created a, created a bond a beautiful bond with this person they have this bond with you that they cherish and respect so it's like this person holds a lot of respect for you regardless of your gender this person finds it to be super attractive okay and it's like they see you as like marriage material not gonna lie okay wifey hubby vibe so this person is really positive about how this is gonna turn out like they believe in this connection that this is the connection, like this is the person, okay? They see you as that person, that special person. And they're just thinking about like how you have created that vibe, okay? That they have never even felt before in their life. It's like when they're with you, they just have this really like intense vibe. Like they have this intense feeling that they can't deny, okay? So... They want to create something with they feel like creating something with you creating a beautiful life with you this person definitely has thought of marriage with you i'm not gonna lie like i just said okay and maybe some of you guys are already married to your person because i was definitely seeing a commitment commitment over you sorry if you guys are not committed yet this person wants a commitment okay they intend to commit to you and it's gonna happen anytime soon is what i'm seeing because they view you as a beautiful person like you're so beautiful, you're so attractive, really handsome, you're just like the perfect match, okay, like you're, you're perfect is what they are thinking right now, okay, they're just really proud of you for what you're doing, maybe a lot of success and prosperity is being manifested by you and it's already like, you know, visible that you're climbing the ladder to success and they're just really proud of you, they want to like cheer for you as well, I'm saying. We have the two of cups we have the star okay so this is like beautiful energy of you let's get some more six of pentacles this person is thinking about giving a gift we have the king of cups okay so maybe they want to reveal their feelings as what i'm saying we have the nine of wands this person is blocking out like some toxic energies that were jeopardizing your connection or relationship take it however it goes because there are some people some external factors that are trying to like fog your person's like decisions so they are taking some measures to cut such like such people off from their lives because they are definitely like maybe in the past they made a wrong decision or they did something which was really like <clears throat> stupid and now they just feel ashamed of themselves this might resonate only for some of you guys just take whatever resonates okay because they were actually taking the advice of other people okay they were actually following them 
and now like they finally realize your true value okay so with the two of cups away they're thinking about how much they love you and how much you love them like you've done a lot for them and they have this appreciation to like to think about <laughs> okay basically they want to offer you something in return because they feel indebted to you or something so it's like they want to like show you the gratitude that they have for you they intend to do that they want to show you it's like they want to confirm something maybe you guys are confused as to what this person is thinking feeling okay basically and they want to confirm this that they are so into you that they have a lot of love for you this person definitely is like completely in love with you not gonna lie i'm definitely seeing some really like major attraction towards you and respect this person only sees you okay no, no one else can even stand near you i mean no one can even stand against you is what i'm saying you're like a whole, a whole different vibe okay you're like perfect okay and they're actually like they're literally putting you on a pedestal over here okay basically they're just thinking about how to offer you the cup of their love okay like the feelings over here are mutual maybe you overgave in this connection okay this was a one-sided connection in the past but now it's completely mutual is what i'm seeing things have changed okay and they just want to like express this they want to tell you this is what i'm seeing they want to tell you how much they love you how much they feel for you and how much they want to offer you join happiness that you offer them the support that you offer them they want to give it back because they are eternally grateful for what you did okay basically no one even stuck around with them at that rate that they were in and you were there you were still like there standing there for them to help them i don't know what you guys did but yeah you did this person a huge favor and this person can't even like express their gratitude i'm seeing oh my god it's like and they're also thinking about how you were their light in the darkness okay you you provide you provided them with hope okay and they just see you as a lucky charm okay it's like you bring optimism into their lives no one can even do that it's like they can be at home like they, they feel home with you they feel at home with you is what i'm seeing okay it's like they're home when they're with you they get super comfortable with you okay like damn like they have this warm cozy feeling around you okay seriously like the sea has a warm cozy home not gonna lie like seriously well, i'm getting the, these energies over here which are so like so intense so sweet like i'm getting the sweet energy from your person so this person finds it to be so 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 sweet okay <laughs> like super sweet it's like they're thinking about and they also feel like you heal them okay you heal this like their wounds okay basically i don't know what wounds but yeah like seriously maybe some of you guys are healers or light workers spiritual workers or you just believe in spirituality you have a really strong intuition it's like you guided them to do something better in life you would you were actually like you were actually a consultor in making their lives better is what i'm trying to say okay like seriously you guys played a huge role in this person's success or where they are right now and they hold you like they give you the whole credit is what i'm seeing okay they are gonna give you the whole credit okay they hold you accountable for what's going on what positive things are going on in their life which is just beautiful okay it's beautiful it's just amazing okay so there was a past okay there was a past in this connection that was toxic but now this person has changed is what i'm seeing but now it's up to you if you want to be with this person or not. because with the two of cups over here i'm definitely seeing that you guys have like you also love this person you still have love for this person because they see this connection as like a spiritually guided connection it's not just any connection it's a divinely guided connection it's like you have this divine bond like you're destined to be with this person is what they think okay they're gonna approach you with their feelings if they didn't confess to you already they will this is like many of you guys are committed to your person or you're like married to your person i'm definitely seeing that if you guys are not committed yet this person wants to get committed to you they're like why isn't pile one my like person yet okay like 
they want to like claim you they they intend to claim you as what i'm seeing over here okay because they're really like jealous okay they get they get a little jealous around other people because they get to be with you they get to spend time with you and they don't so it's like this person just wants to like so it just wants to like you know claim like you know just have that label that you're theirs and all of that okay so it's like they have really feelings for you not going to lie and <clears throat> they want this balance give and take in this connection because there was there was this like imbalance and they want to balance it they want to balance it out by offering you the cup of their love i'm sorry guys i'm like getting this you know i'm not fluent right now but yeah seriously like this person wants to have balance this person wants to like balance the situation they feel like you offered them too much and they're not even worthy to be and like i don't i don't see this unworthiness over here but i'm seeing that they just feel like they can like whatever they do is not enough is what i'm trying to say okay that's what they're feeling right now because i don't know what you guys did but this person took it to their like took it to heart and they just like they're taking this seriously they're taking this personally is what i'm trying to say okay it's like you were just like playing your part as a friend or as a close friend this person was like shook like this person was like <clears throat> well pal one cares for me and all of that okay so they fell in love with you like really like that's when you know this person developed really deep feelings i'm not saying they didn't have feelings for you before that they did but there was a huge leap okay after you know you helped them out in some sort of way when you were there for them okay maybe you gave them some really good advice or something else but they see you as a really generous person. They see you as an angel. Like, you're an angel. Okay? So you're a person with the star and the empress. Wow. This is like... Many of you guys who are still not committed yet, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in the future. You're going to get married to this person for many of you guys. Like, seriously, I can see the potential of marriage. This person sees it too. They want to put that ring on that finger. <laughs> they want to put that ring on the finger because they can see what they can build with you. They want to build with you as I'm trying to say over here. Okay, because you guys are like a power couple, okay? That's what they think. Like, they see you guys as, like, a power couple. Like, you can conquer the world by being together, okay? They have they have some really high expectations from you. So, just keep that in mind. And, yeah, well, I guess this is all that I have for you guys today. I hope it resonated. If it didn't resonate, you're free to get the in between. Watch more videos on my channel. So love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye. Hey guys, there's a few who chose Pile 2, The Tiger's Eye. This is reading, okay? So let's see where the current thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. We have the Fool as your overall energy today. So it's pretty clear that your person wants to take a leap of faith. They are intending to do something about this. They don't want to have this stand still they are literally getting irritated and annoyed by the silence they want to kill that silence the silence is literally killing them because they just can't resist not being with you okay they want to be with you so bad okay that's the energy that i'm getting from your person this person is heavily thinking about you this person is having many fantasies about you and they are thinking of a better future with you maybe this is a person who you just met okay or maybe this is a person who wants to have a new beginning with you maybe they actually gave you some signs you know in any sort of way maybe they straight up asked you to have like to give this connection a second chance or it's just that you met this new person who you felt like a deep like bond with okay a deep like attraction with so yeah basically this person is ready to take a risk okay like a new beginning is coming like the fool is all about beginnings over here so this person is thinking about a new beginning or maybe they are starting to think that this is a new beginning in love and they want to like explore new things with you they want to travel with you there's some travel like traveling energy over here there are some traveling energies that are in your reading today so maybe some of you guys are like on vacation maybe you met this person on vacation or it's just that this person wants to travel with you or 
maybe you know this is a long distance connection but i don't see that from any of you guys okay just take whatever it is me so basically this person is thinking about trying new things with you too okay it's like they're really like curious to find out more about you okay they want to get to know you better because you're like a mystery to your person which is why they always like surrender to your energy and they like it they like this dominant energy that you give off okay they just keep thinking about that dominant side of yours like it's really attractive to your person they are attractive to people who are dominant to be honest okay like i'm definitely seeing that so let's see what else is your person thinking feeling and intending to do about this connection or you I was literally just talking about like dominance over here so yeah okay very good I wasn't expecting that the nine of wands and the two of cups okay um yeah this is pretty like this is pretty straightforward <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. Brought the deck energy, the Nine of Swords. Okay. So maybe for some of you, this is a person from the past who has, like, who has, like, given you signs about coming back, you know, reconciliation or, or reunion, sorry, um, or a reunion because they want to, like, progress your connection with them. Regardless, this person just, like, thinks about how you actually have the power to shut them up <laughs> i don't know what this person even thinks like this person sees you as a really strong and independent person and they like it like they love that energy of yours it's like you're so inspiring and motivating you're so bold in your approach and you keep toxic people away you have these boundaries up okay to just you know to sh like you're really protective of those you love and you your person imagine like your person like sees themselves in that position where you're protecting them okay that's what they fantasize about like you're protecting them you're fighting for them and they just love that okay they just want you to show them how important they are to you okay but yeah you're truly a gem in their eyes they see you as like a diamond okay <clears throat> because you're like so rare okay in their eyes you're like a rare person one in a million or something so with the two of cups over here, they definitely have grown some, like, feelings for you. If this is a new connection, they have some really deep attraction for you. If this is, like, an old connection, this person has a lot of love for you and they are thinking about a commitment with you. If you guys are not committed yet, they are thinking about a commitment regardless, sorry. And with the nine of wands, it's like, you have this strong energy, oh my god. It's like you can deal with anything. Okay, and this impresses your person like hell, okay? Like, seriously. You're so confident, you're so perfect. You actually wear your flaws. And that's, like, super attractive to your person. It's like, your person is obsessed, low-key, with you, okay? Like, seriously, I'm not gonna lie. This person views you as a perfectionist, even though you have flaws. I mean, you're flawless, okay? Like, seriously, you're flawless because you actually portray your flaws as your assets. So that's, like, the most amazing thing about you because you actually promote self-love you love yourself you're so like confident so bold you have a lot of self-esteem self-confidence and you can do anything that you know comes your way which is like you know which is really like amazing in your person's eyes okay like i can't even explain this but yeah this person is just like like this person has like literally fell for you because of this quality okay your bold and you know confident quality it's like the main thing about you is being bold okay i don't know what you guys do or what you guys actually how you guys are but yeah you have this really like strong you know presence okay that intimidates other people but your person is quite attracted to it okay like seriously other people are scared of you a little bit because you're like the boss it's like you have this boss energy this leadership okay that you possess 
and your person actually really loves that which is why they just feel like the fool over here oh my god they just feel like a fool in love with you or you know they have this liking towards you a fool who likes you yeah well wow, amazing so this person is it's like this person invested a lot in you and they are just like waiting for the right time to when you're gonna like it's like they're they're openly showing their you know feelings maybe they didn't do that yet but they will okay it's like you're like the right path you're the path that they're gonna take okay it's like you're direct you're, they're just gonna like it's like they feel I, I don't even know how to explain oh my god like seriously this person has some really intense feelings going on for you and thoughts as well and they just feel called to just like be be straightforward with you because you're so good at communicating and you're so like you know you're so straightforward with your words you actually like i don't know what you guys <laughs> do or you you are just like a badass okay you're a badass you just get what you want you 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 just you just go through any like any situation to get what you want okay you're really like determined okay you have this determ determined energy which actually intrigues your person like hell okay like i'm not gonna lie this person is just so sweet but like this person is completely <laughs> completely like like in love with you okay i'm not gonna lie this person is in love with you yeah if this is a new person this person is like growing their feelings for you it's like they can't like even control their feelings anymore it's like they are out of hand because you stole their heart yeah you stole their heart is what they think you're the culprit <laughs> okay so it's like this is such a weird energy <laughs> oh my god but yeah it's like they're just waiting for things to come to fruition or something okay fruition and they just like maybe this is a colleague they're asking about or a new friend that you're working with okay it's like this work involved over here maybe they're just like they're just like looking at at your accomplishments and they're just you know congratulating you in their heads like you know um just you know giving you that support that you need to move forward okay it's like the picture you like with them okay and like having a good time you know communicating getting to know you better. like i just said you're such like you're a divine being is what they think you're like completely out of this world okay is what they think i'm not gonna lie like this is the energy that i'm getting It's like you're moving forward in your career. Maybe you like got some success. Maybe you're doing something new right now. Maybe a new business, a new job or something. And you're actually doing pretty good at it. Okay. This person is just here to support you. To give you some like positive vibes. Okay. And not gonna like. No, I'm not gonna like miss that. That this person is just like in love with you. Okay. They just like they just don't know how to show it. <laughs> it's like they're they're really scared of you. Okay, they're scared, they're anxious when it comes to you. They do they love this quality about you that you're so straightforward, you're so open with yourselves, you're you're pure and you're honest. Okay, and this person like you know, they get scared because of that. It's like you give like a straightforward answer and if they get rejected, they'll get rejected in the worst way poss possible is what they think. Okay, if you guys are not committed yet maybe they have some communication problems which is why i'm not able to communicate properly right now okay like seriously i don't have such you know i don't have like many problems while i speak but right now i'm getting some problems okay i don't know like maybe this person is an introvert or something okay but yeah not like with this like two of cups over here this person is just like super attracted to you like this person has some like huge amount of love for you that they want to offer they want to offer you something okay and they know that like whatever they offer will be will not be enough okay because this person sees you as someone who's like better than them they see you as someone who's like out of their league okay but yeah this is a person from the past this person is completely like overwhelmed not gonna lie they feel regret guilt and they feel like they should just like shut like you know just leave this connection and shut themselves 
out of the out of out of your life okay basically because they feel like if they come back they're going to get rejected in the worst way possible <laughs> okay because they're seeing you they are seeing you do good okay it's like you're doing good you're getting those money bags and you're just successful in your own energy okay they don't want to ruin that by entering your life again okay it's like they feel like if they come back in you you're just going to get disappointed and hurt and they don't want to hurt you again or they just don't want to hurt you in general okay basically so this is like a message for those of you guys who have dealt with this person in the past but yeah this person's like really in love with you that's why they're trying to walk away from this they're trying to build these you know walls and barriers so that they can shut themselves out and you know they're trying to like avoid thinking about you but they just can't because you're like you know a strong influence on them you are just like everything that they want in a person they can't deny that Sometimes this person even tries to like, you know, this person tries to do like take some really huge measures to forget you, but they just fail. Okay, I don't know. Like I can't even mention it over here, but yeah, the, some of you guys will resonate with this. Maybe your person is a stoner or something. Okay, not gonna lie. Okay, seriously, for some of you guys, for some of you guys, just take whatever resonates, and they just like. they were doing this because they were stressed and all of that okay that they hurt you and all of that okay they were in pain and now actually they're doing pretty good they're not like that into it anymore okay but yeah um you changed them you made them a better person okay you made them realize what they lost and what they lost was the love of their life whenever they see someone else they picture you and them and they just they can deny what they feel for you so now they're just accepting it and they're imagining you and other people but it's really hard for them to bear it's like this person is really sad right now they're really depressed this is a message for those of you guys who actually have dealt with this person in the past again okay seriously just take whatever it is needs okay so yeah Overall this person doesn't intend to do anything right now they just intend to be strong and you know, hold this ground so that they can uh, can avoid you it's like it's like taking it's taking up most of their energy to avoid you to completely like not think about you because you're like you're just too attractive okay you're a shining like gem okay you're like you're like in the spotlight so that's why your person you know doesn't know how to ignore you they just they're just finding new ways to do that okay so finding new ways to avoid this love because whenever they go they get reminded of you whoever they see the picture you and them like i just said okay so I'm not going to repeat myself yeah well i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope it resonated if it didn't resonate you're free to check out the files in this reading or check out movies on my channel so love you guys i'll see you guys soon like share and subscribe for more videos bye hey guys as of you who chose pile 3 the amethyst crystal this is your ring okay So let's see what are the current thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. Let's find out. So we have the Queen of Swords as your overall energy today. So with the Queen of Swords over here, this person is thinking about how you're blocking them out of your life. Okay, it's like maybe you guys block them, or you're actually avoiding them in some sort of way. You're ignoring them. You're cutting off like the things that don't serve you anymore. So they're scared that you might cut them off, or maybe you're already doing that. Like I just said, so they're just thinking about how you have actually, you know, you have become really like confident, and you you went through this like glow up. And this person is actually really astonished to see that. Okay, this person is like is really proud of you. This person is just like. at all to see you like this okay like you just changed it's like you changed in some sort of way i don't know what you guys did maybe you have changed something like your physical appearance or you know your style i don't know what you guys changed but you changed something okay and which is why you got this really huge amount of success in life and they are just like thinking about how they lost a gem or something okay not a gem. i mean yeah so <laughs> Basically it's like they were thinking about how honest you were with them and they weren't maybe they weren't honest with you as well I'm getting so that's why you're cutting them off you're actually distancing yourselves from them 
and they just don't want that they don't want that energy they want to keep you close and they're intending to do that basically you provided them with a lot of clarity in life okay you made them see the truth in many situations in certain situations and I don't know what, he, what you made them realize. It's like you made them realize something. Maybe karma, okay, or something else, okay? Like, they're getting their back now from you. So, it's like, they are definitely guilty about what they did. But they're not showing it. This person is also thinking about how you're, you're like, dealing with certain situations alone. How you're actually managing it on your own and you're doing just fine without them and they're just like really astonished to see that they weren't expecting you to be this like you know talented and this like i mean you are talented they, they know that okay they know that you're talented but it's like they didn't know that you would use it so like in the best way possible okay they didn't know that you would use it in the best way possible so they're just like at all like i just said and you're super direct okay you're super direct your direct like approach towards things scares them okay they're thinking about how direct you are how straightforward you are in communication and how you cut through the fog okay basically you transform there's a transformation involved over here i don't know what you guys did what you guys went through but yeah you went through some transformation and this person is seeing that you know you're just a better like a better version of yourselves and they want to get back okay they want to get back with you it's like are like they're asking you to stop running from them okay because they're not gonna stop chasing you so it's like they want you to drop that act okay is what i'm saying they want you to drop that act okay that you're pulling off so it's like they're just asking you to return return to them they're pleading or you know they're not pleading they're just you know in their ego they're asking you to come back okay is what i'm hearing right now wow this person has some ego like this person has some like ego issues they have a really big ego they just don't know how to handle things in a considerate way okay they get really like violent okay not violent i mean you know verbally violent or something you know like really harsh really rude okay so they have this weird way of, you know, making things right with you. And you also are really agitated and really annoyed with that. So you are trying to move on from this person. Maybe you moved on already from this person, okay? And you're doing good in your energy. And I'm really proud of you guys, okay? You rock, guys. <laughs> stay blessed, stay happy. And, you know, this person is just so, like astonished to see that you're doing good without them you're smiling without them okay it's like that's what i'm getting i mean seriously like this person is just so so this was this is really new to your person they're taking their time to process it <laughs> okay so let's get some more cards let's see where they can talk things and tensions towards you The moon, all right. The star. Eight of pentacles. And the three of swords. This person broke your heart in the past. It's like you're really disappointed with this person. Maybe you put in a lot of, um, you put in a lot of hard work to make this connection a reality. And this person was just like watching from the sidelines. They didn't put in like they didn't like contribute to this like connection at all okay which is why you were like that said i'm gonna quit okay you were really like cooperative with your person but your person didn't show any sign of interest okay like this person was just like this person was playing you okay in the past or something okay they do see you as like the star like someone who is really rare someone who isn't like like who isn't common in the society you are you're just like you are, you have a vibe of your own okay which is why they are scared of losing you 
they are scared of you moving on they are afraid that you might move on i mean you already moved on and they're really afraid that they're gonna see you with someone else okay with the moon over here it's like they don't know what to expect okay they just like they are not giving up is what i'm seeing they're still like watching you they're still like stalking you on your social media if you have social media this person is stalking you with the death card over here this person is like this person is not letting go of this connection actually they're not letting go of this connection okay because they they just feel this really intense connection with you and they don't want to lose this okay they're really immature they're really like they don't have they have a small mind okay like seriously they're really old-fashioned retarded if you ask me okay they can think things in a free-spirited way which is why they're still like stagnant if you know what i mean but they do acknowledge you as a really like amazing person someone who is really honest really hopeful a pure person okay it's like you're the you're like in the spotlight in your person's life but it's like they see you as the moon who's like untouchable now who's like completely out of their reach so they want to get in touch with you they're super curious to fi find out what's going on in your life right now okay it's like maybe they're trying to decide something they're trying to find out new ways to approach you okay but this person you actually you were heartbroken by this person because this person was too like this person was too narcissistic or they were too consumed, self-consumed, okay? They weren't focusing on this connection or you. They were just focusing on, like, some other things. Maybe they were, like, a playboy or a playgirl, okay? Which is why they weren't able to recognize the speciality of this connection. Like, they weren't looking for commitment. They were just, like, having their own fun, okay? Which is really, like... Which is really insensitive, if you ask me. This person is really insensitive, okay? And right now, they are actually... You're like the main person right now, okay? Right now, you are the main person. You should definitely move on from this person if you haven't moved on yet. I'm seeing that many of you guys did because you, you couldn't take their BS anymore, which is the right thing to do, okay? If you ask me, if this person is not giving you a clear sign, if this person is like hanging around the bush and not being completely fun, like straightforward with you, you should move on, Okay? It's like this person is thinking, it's like they're, they're actually thinking about how much, how work you put in, okay, how much you actually contributed to this connection, how you were completely active in this connection. And they, were, they didn't do shit, okay, they didn't do anything to like repay you back. And now they have this guilt, they're going through this guilt, they're going through this tough time of realizing that they lost you. So they're mourning you or something, okay, like seriously. This connection definitely came to an end, okay? But this person is still thinking about you heavily, okay? They're thinking about how they broke your heart, how they took advantage of you, or they were just playing you, okay? They're thinking about how good you were to them, how kind you were to them, okay? It's like you're a kind-hearted person is what they're thinking, and they can never measure up to you. They know that. But they just don't, they just don't think, I mean, they just don't, like, express this. Because of their ego. They have a big ego. Okay, like seriously. So, it's like this person taught you a lesson. This person was here for a spiritual lesson. To teach you that people, not everyone is the same. Okay, it's like you got many like... You got many new things to do after this connection. It was like you you felt really good. You know, it was like maybe you were missing something in life. And when this person was actually out of your life, you finally figured it out. You finally figured out your happiness, your happy place, which is with yourself, okay? I'm really proud of you guys that you guys are working on yourselves. You guys are becoming a better person for your own self, satisfying yourself, which is like the best thing to do, okay? You come first, 
before everyone and everything. Just keep that in mind and always keep blooming and keep prospering. Blessings to you guys. And yeah, so this person is not that like, is, this person isn't intending to do anything. Maybe for some of you guys, this person wants to like reach out. They want to chase you. I mean, definitely I was seeing that chasing energy because you're like a butterfly, okay? You're like, you're like, as beautiful as a butterfly or something okay like, like this person sees you as their butterfly i don't know why i said butterfly but yeah maybe they call you butterfly or something i don't know just take whatever it is but yeah maybe you like butterflies or they like butterflies they see you as their flower or something okay you're like their beautiful flower and they call you flower i don't know maybe rose okay i don't know like maybe something else jasmine okay but yeah this person is just like really moved by your actions like they're astonished like i just said they move like wow you're like a storm is what they're thinking you're a storm your whole like package and they just can't mess with you they can't they can't do shit in front of you and they love that okay they actually are enjoying this okay i don't know why they're enjoying this but yeah this person is super weird okay just keep I mean, you know and just keep like keep working on yourselves and move on from this person because this person is super weird okay like this person has some like problems so just you know i'm not gonna say it but yeah this person is like crazy so just like move on from this person okay because this person is bad news if you guys i'm definitely seeing that you guys moved on from this person for many of you guys you definitely moved on but still i can get a few energies that a few amount okay a few amount of you guys are still in love with your person i'm so sorry to say this but yeah this person is just like they still intend to do the same thing that they did in the past okay so just keep an eye out for that because they're a master manipulator they only think about using people okay like using them and just throwing them away okay that was harsh but not using them i would i should rephrase that i mean they just like think about themselves how you could benefit them okay that's what they think about how you could actually be useful for them okay that's the only thing that they think about about themselves they don't like self-consume they're narcissistic so it's better if you move on okay rest of you guys i'm really proud of you keep enjoying your life and i'm definitely seeing a lot of abundance coming in for you a lot of abundance and like you know self-love and materialistically emotionally physically take it how it goes in all aspects in your life okay so definitely stay blessed you guys all right so yeah well i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope it resonated if it didn't resonate you're free to go to the park in the swing or check out more videos on my channel so love you guys i'll see you guys soon like share and subscribe for more videos bye, -bye.